What's up guys? So Batman Dark Age number one comes out today, Tuesday, March 26th, and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. I got a chance to read this over the weekend, although the book has been returned to my LCS, so I don't have it here to show you, but this is the A cover right here. This is brought to you by Mark Russell and Mike Allred. That's the same team that brought you the Superman Space Age miniseries, and this is very similar to that. This is not a black label book, but it is out of continuity because it is told in real time, just like Superman Space Age was. So when I first heard about this, I thought it sounded very similar to the Batman First Night miniseries that also came out just a couple weeks ago. That series telling the story of Batman in his first year, but set back in 1939. But this is wildly different from that. So this tells us a Batman origin story, but one that's wildly different than the one we know. This is set in real time, beginning in 1957, with the death of Thomas and Martha Wayne after they go see The Mask of Zorro at the movies, but this time, Bruce Wayne does not go with them. This was done so that the board of directors of Wayne Enterprises could take over the company, but there was a clause that said that in the event of Thomas and Martha Wayne's death, Bruce would take over when he's 18, so throughout the course of his life, there were a few attempts to take him out as well. Another difference in this origin story is that Bruce never left to go travel abroad to essentially train how to be a crime fighter and learn all these skills. He grew up in Gotham, leading the life that uh, you would imagine a typical spoiled rich kid would have. The time does jump to 1963, right before Bruce is about to turn 18, and since all of the attempts on his life were unsuccessful, the Board of Wayne Enterprises uses a slightly different method to ensure that he does not take over the company when he turns 18. At one point, we get a glimpse at Bruce's life in the year 2030 when he's living in a nursing home. Uh, he is having trouble with his memory, but uh, there wasn't a whole lot focused on that, so I imagine there's more to come with that segment of the story. So I won't tell you too much more than that so that I don't spoil anything, but I will say that there is very, very little Batman in this, almost no Batman whatsoever, but that's okay because the story was still so compelling seeing Bruce grow up in a way that we haven't ever really seen before. You know, like I said, he was a spoiled rich kid, constantly getting into trouble, constantly getting out of trouble very easily because of his name and because of his money. Uh, and I want to see where that goes, especially with how the book ended. That is the big, big twist to his origin story. So I'm really interested to see how that plays out in the next issue. But yeah, just a very cool take on Batman's origin. Like I said, one that we've never seen before. And again, it's definitely out of continuity, so you don't have to worry how this fits in with anything else. I really enjoyed this, though. I'm very much looking forward to the next issue to see what happens next. And like I said, this comes out today, so let me know if you pick it up. And if you do, let me know what you think about it.